today's topic of discussion is profit, profit and loss. Let's start with some of the terminologies. First is the cost price. The cost price is the basic cost of the manufacturer or the manufacturer of a commodity. Now, what is the selling price? The selling price will, would be the price at both, uh, which the manufacturer would be selling it. Now, what is market price? Sometimes there are term discounts which comes into account and only at that time we calculate the market price. Now, what is market price? Like if you take that the cost price of a commodity is X and he is selling at B but in between he gives this at a 15% discount so now this 15% would be on our intermediate that, that is C and this C would be market price that is A was the actual he was supposed to sell it at C which would have been the selling price but as now he is giving a 15% discount this becomes a market price and after the 15% discount at the price it would be selling actually it becomes a selling price right. the third uh, terminologies are profit, loss and discount again profit means the increase if the selling price is more than the cost price we get a profit and if it's the cost price more than the selling price it would be a loss now when we calculate the profit and loss the important points are the person profit and the person loss the person profit is profit upon CP the main thing uh, we have to see that whenever they talk about the profit percentage of a profit loss, CP should be considered. It is never, been, even if a question is given, it's a 10% profit and we get a selling price. It is never to be considered or never to be counted on a selling price. We always have to back calculate the cost price from the selling price and then only we can go for the 10% profit onto the cost price. Because always the profit and loss would be on the cost price. Why, as I have already told the discount, this discount would be on the market price and not on the cost price. So, this is the basic difference between the profit and loss percentage and the discount cost. Now, let's move on to the first problem. Now, what we have uh, been given, a man buys an article for 27.5 rupees and sells it for 28.6 rupees. Find the person gain or loss. So, now let's see what data we have. First of all, we have the cost price, that is 27.5. Then we have a selling price of 28.6. Naturally, we see that the selling price is greater than the cost price, so it's a gain. So let's calculate the gain. So the gain would be SP minus CP, that is 28.6 minus 27.5, that accounts to 1.1 rupees gain. So now we have to calculate a person gain or person loss. As I have already been explained, person gain is equal to the gain upon the cost price. Again, you have to uh, see that it is on the cost price and not on the selling price. So it is 1.1 upon 27.5 would give you the answer. So now this is a simple question of the person gain or loss where we have to see two things first of all the calculation of the person gain and then the person gain would be divided from the cost price and not the selling price to get the person gain similarly the question of the person loss would be solved let's move on to the next question the person incurs a 5% loss by selling a watch for rupees 1140 rupees at what price should the watch be sold to earn a 5% profit so now let's see what the data has been given in the first case, there will be a loss percentage of 5%, a selling price of 140, and the expected, they are expecting at a, selling, a new selling price, they should get a profit of 5%. For this, we have a formula like the CP is equal to 100 upon 100 plus minus X into the selling price. So it's like the X plus minus the plus when it's a gain or a profit minus when it's a loss. So Using this formula, we can get two equations. In the first case, the cost price being same, it's 100 upon 100 minus 5, that is 95, into the first selling price, that is 1140, that's equation 1. And second equation, again the cost price of the commodity being the same, it's 100, but this time it's plus 5 because of the gain percent, that's 105, multiplying the new selling price. So when we equate both, both of these selling price, the two equations like the equation 1 and the equations 2 can be equated together like it's 100 
f195 into 1140 is equal to 100 upon 105 into sp so by calculating this we can get the new setting 